The ATP 2017 TEBBNP Paribas Istanbul Open will be played on Monday, May 1st through Sunday, May 7th at the Koza World of Sports in Istanbul, Turkey. The Istanbul Open was first played in 2015, and it is the first ATP Tour event to be held in Turkey. It is a World Tour 250 Series event, and it is played on a clay surface as the preparations for the French Open at the end of May get kicked up a notch. Canada's Milos Raonic is slated to be the top seed in Istanbul, but injuries have bothered him throughout 2017, so if he cannot play, the top seed would be Croatia's Marin Cilic. Defending champion Diego Schwartzman of Argentina will be back, as will be Italy's Paolo Lorenzi, Victor Troiki of Serbia, Marcel Granolers of Spain, Marcos Bagdadis of Cyprus, and Karen Kachanov of Russia. Schwartzman won his first career singles title here last year with a three-set win over Gregor Dimitrov of Bulgaria, joining Switzerland's Roger Federer as champions in Istanbul. Federer defeated Argentino's Paulo Cuevas in straight sets in 2015, although the second set went to a tiebreaker. Schwartzman could not do the double, however, as he lost the doubles final with his partner, fellow Argentinian Andres Molteni. They lost to Flavio Sapola of Italy and Duty Sella of Israel in three sets, and it was the first win of the year for Sella and Duty as a team. In fact, it was the first doubles win in their career for both players. The 2015 winners were Radu Albat of Moldova and Dusan Lajevic of Serbia, who beat Sweden's Robert Lindstedt and Austria's Jurgen Melzer in straight sets. The tournament award points are the same in singles and doubles for the first four levels. 250 points for the winners, 150 points for the finals, 90 points for the semifinals, and 45 points for the quarterfinals, which is where it ends in doubles. For the singles, it continues with 20 points for the round of 16, 12 points for the final qualifier, and 6 points for the second qualifier. For the prize money, the singles winner gets just over $83,000. Then it is almost $44,000 for the finals, almost $24,000 for the semifinals, $13,500 for the quarterfinals, almost $8,000 for the round of 16, over $4,500 for the round of 28, just over $2,000 for the second qualifier, and $1,062 for the first qualifier. On the double side, the winners get $25,262. Then it is over $13,000 for the finals, just over $7,000 for the semifinals, over $4,000 for the quarterfinals, and $2,411 for the round of 16. There are two different ways to bet on tennis. You can bet on the outright winner of the tournament, and you can bet on who will win each individual matchup. You can place a bet on tennis by clicking on tennis, then ATP for men's, or WTA for women's, prior to the tournament, and there you will find a list of players to bet on to win the tournament. If a player is listed at positive odds of, for example, plus 200, that means that they are an underdog in the tournament, and you could win $200 by placing a $100 wager on that player. But if you have a player with a negative sign in front of their odds, for example, odds of minus 150, that means that they are a favorite to win the tournament, and you would have to bet $150 to win $100 on that player. The second way to bet on tennis is the daily matchups between two players, where you only have to choose who will win the matchup between the two listed players. Sometimes one player may be favored over the other, indicated by negative odds, or the odds could be even on the players. You use the same rules as with the tournament winner with plus and minus odds to calculate your payoff for each and every matchup. Subscribe now so you won't miss any of our ATP or WTA tennis tournament videos. And to get the updated betting odds video where we give you our free picks and predictions on the tournament. Click over now to check out all the ATP and WTA tennis odds on the board. Make a few wagers with BetDSI.com and enjoy the tournament.